Right, so the first big important thing we've done in here, obviously next to rearranging it all, we now have some light. So you can see, you don't have to be in the dark. Cause I mean, look at this. Try looking at all these buttons and enjoying them in the dark. So you just come in here, hit your light and you've got that. We also, on this shelf, we hit this switch right here. We have preheats. And we also have some more powered things here. Which we, we, we will excitedly get to. Oh yeah, so go ahead and start your tour wherever you, go ahead and start looking around. Alrighty, you care to start explaining? Well, I'll just start pushing buttons. <laughs> and, uh, yeah. I'll tell you what I do know about stuff. I mean, obviously we have innovation sales samples. Those are pretty self-explanatory. Otis Touch. Not wired in Otis Lexins. Uh, that CJ Anderson came from Chris. St. Joseph, Missouri. Came off an old freight elevator. So that button right there was given by Mike from Automatic Elevator. It was in pieces and in pretty bad shape. Cleaned it up, restored it, wired it, and made a new button. The down button is 3D printed, by the way. The uh, wow. label. That was a fun project. That there is a pretty rare Schindler car panel. It, uh, <laughs> if you remember, it had a very ugly stop button on it, which Andrew and I replaced into a nice little light switch. Which those are, those great. buttons are very satisfying to press. They are. They are. So that was an Epico button that came from Alpha Tower in Dallas. It was donated from Steven. That is a button L-Series that was donated by Sam. And it came from Macy's in Chicago. Moving down. Yeah. By the way, by the way, I have to say, this is all uh, new to this. Oh, yeah. We put the padding down. So which, things don't just slide down. Uh, yeah. The only disadvantage of it is it kind of folds a little bit, but I mean, that just happens. But anyway, next shelf down, I think we know where that came from. 707 billion rogue. And a lot of these things are wired. We just got to put batteries in them. We have like a bunch of batteries at Andrew's house to put in. It's a Montgomery car panel. I'm not 100% where that came from. I'm pretty sure Mike, I think I think that was for Mike, but I, I don't want to say that for sure. But I've got the key for it and that'll be wired up eventually. That's not wired yet. Got a few various uh, black button, GAL buttons. Ooh, that one was restored by Tom, uh, this one here. They all feel really nice. Yeah. Montgomery car top. Which also used to have another, if you remember, you may or may not, but there used to be another part to this. We'll show you where that went later. <laughs> Got a little Otis plate here. And that's a new innovation sales sample. Brand new was just made. There, you know, you can see the difference in these. Or that one's a little bit more custom. You'll see why if you come here. That button's a little messed up, but uh, that's another Dominion button from the 707 building. Look who's calling! Someone got called the wolf. All right, next we have an old C.J. Anderson 
control panel there. Now that was originally just bought on eBay, but Tom, he sent it to Tom, and Tom did a whole restoration on it. Look how perfect it looks now. Looks Tom, great. that was amazing. It looks great. Otis Series 1, we all know and love that. I think that, I don't remember exactly where that came from. I don't I don't want to just place, name place, but I think it came from Atlanta. Hmm. I think we know what that is, pretty self-explanatory. And don't forget to subscribe and light up that bell. Where'd that come from? I don't know. Didn't Aaron give that to him? I think so, actually. Yeah, that's why I was saying that. Huh. I think that was from Aaron. And that is the new old stock ThyssenKrupp Isis button that he bought on eBay. Picture proximity sensor, not a micro switch. Nope. The original, the one from the Habitat stores at my house for experimentation. <laughs> I was try, still trying to figure out how to put it together. Yep, it's annoying. I don't want to. I don't want to blow it up either. That's the problem. Yeah. But anyway, that's the C.J. Anderson that Tom did for Andrew. A while back, I'd that reckon. That was a while ago. That one, that one just is kind of, it's awesome, but it's in the way. Yes. It's like it just kind of rolls around. Another sales sample. So on the bottom, the panel on the left, Fairhall elevators, you know, obviously armor. And press the buttons. The buttons will light different colors. I love that font. The panel in the middle now, that was donated to Andrew from Midwest Elevator in St. Louis. And that that is an old general. Now difference between general, you can see on the bottom obviously it says general, but the black lines on the side are just something that you you see from those general elevators. And I think it gives it a little bit more character than just a panel. I love the font. So the key switch, so basically how that panel works, the key switch will turn on the four. You turn the key, obviously pressing the buttons. And then with the right key, you can turn on the key switches and pull that stop switch and all the lights will come on. It's really cool. Obviously we have Montgomery A series. Not sure where he got that. Pretty neat. Yeah. So obviously we've got some indicators, an old Westinghouse on top. That was a GAL. I think that's Westinghouse. And then a little emergency, like one of those little hammer knocky things or whatever they're called. The drop keys. So we got the best call station in the yes, unit. Yes, that is the call station for the car, this little car panel over here, which I wired. Uh, it's funny. So satisfying. I managed to fit a single LED in there. That was the first elevator part video I ever made, by the way, on those. Hmm. We got our square touch back there. No guts, unfortunately. But Andrew left that with me to wire and then decided to take it home. And then, hmm. well, I don't know. It's not wired. That's just that's the end of that. This one? Yeah. And that's the Schindler MT, which I gave to him. Uh, battery he took to do something else with, of course. So no battery in it, but it does work. Uh, that's beef. That's from Sweden. Uh, I know, I know, someone from over there gave it to him. I don't remember exactly who. Like that's when you get to ask him. I don't want to say the wrong person either. But we've got two Dominion call buttons there. Well, that's an. In this is a very strange thing. It's it's a dumbwaiter indicator. So you have your bulb there, which would have a lamp on it, and that's a bell. Hmm. So very strange. That was from Sam. Schlieren. Another great call button. That is, yeah, I love Schlieren. That was the Westinghouse Vandal Resistant. That's just innovation. That's the California innovation. Look how ugly it is. Yeah. So you have this innovation. This is the bruiser. You know, this is where... But then you have that ugly crap for California. Because California has to do everything California different. has to be weird. Thanks, California. Uh, freight elevator door. That Now, that car top was uh, donated by Paul. Very interesting. It's awesome. I've never actually messed with one of those before. It's so colorful. Like, it, it adds is. a nice splash of color. In it there. is. That's a dumbwaiter panel. Old vintage dumbwaiter panel from eBay. Now, this is pretty neat. That's a uh, little uh, mad elevator fixture, little kind of sales sample kind of thing. Go and cut the light off so we can see all the lights. Oh yeah, let's uh... Yeah, so now this thing is actually wired up now. We have it plugged in so you can you can play with it. And we have different types of buttons. Including... I've seen all the buttons except the one on the top. What was that? We added a uh, buzzer to it. Just, just for a little surprise, a little bit of fun. Mm -hmm. Go ahead and cut that back on. Yep. We've got, you know, more sales. Oh, actually no, that's a Schlieren. Again, another fantastic button to push. Yes. Another sales sample right here. Yeah, we got lots of sales samples. 
That's a, I believe this is actually Dewhurst. Yeah, this is Dewhurst. Huh. That's a Dewhurst button. All right, so that's a, another car panel. It does light up, old Esco, but like I said, Andrew hasn't put batteries in any of this stuff yet, so that'll be done. Freight elevator panel, pretty cool. And we also have the PTL panel. You guys probably remember that thing lit up back when this was in a house. We rewired it because whoever, like, it was wired so weirdly. And uh, now it works and you can enjoy it. Mm -hmm. It all just lights up, but I'd rather it light up than have to push the buttons, I think. Yes. It looks pretty cool. More innovation sales samples. Yep. And over there we have two R Series Schindlers, which I think came from Manual in uh, uh, Switzerland, but he works for Schindler. Bottom, we've got a pane. That's a pane. Uh, it's a San Francisco elevator company, and wired it up. And you probably all recognize that from the outros of his videos. Click the buttons. That is a Westinghouse panel that, yeah, that bell gets stuck. Westinghouse panel from somebody in Little Rock. I think uh, I think Andrew bought it from him or it was given to him. I don't remember how it all went down, but. It's a pretty quick, sweet panel, and I do plan to restore it eventually, because, I mean, it does look pretty crusty right now. It does. Like, those brails just look flat out ugly. Yes. But little resto on it, it'll look great. Now, that's a pretty special piece. That is a very, very rare piece. That was uh, given to Andrew from Mike from Automatic Elevator, and if you look on the bottom, it's the Baxter & Sons U.S. panel. I mean, you'll just never see that. So it's a very rare piece because of the BNS logo on the bottom. On the bottom, we got some fire alarm pull stations. We all know how those work. Little uh, GAL lantern. And then we have, uh, again, some more just some indicators on the floor. GALs. Remember that right, inspection show, station? Yeah, show the inspection station. This was actually rewired and bolted to the this side. And then this, yeah, we were going to hook up this lamp switch to work, but the switch just doesn't work. As you can see here, it's all just floppy around. Yeah. Yeah, so we were going to have a light there, but then we decided, nah. So these two outlets are always live. You can plug in things like fans and whatever you need to work. We've got our power strip back here. This switch just turns on all the parts and such. So we actually have electricity to these buttons that light up. And out. another thing is if we leave it all on, when these lights turn off, everything shuts off. So yes. it's not like it's always going to be on if we leave it on, but we're not going to leave it on. Now. Respect for the building owner. Yep. And we're using a Westinghouse panel to kind of cover it up, but it's also a great place to store it because you can push the buttons. It's got the little... Um, Service cabinet down there. And the most That is satisfying. a very satisfying switch to turn. Now into the next shelf. So obviously we've got our This Car Up on the top 707 building. And if we turn off the light, we can see a little bit more. Looks pretty awesome. It does. But that is a Tyson Car button I think was given to him by a friend. I really love the... You can hear the micro switches in this one. It actually is not a micro switch. You know those like little flat like buttons, like those little ones that you'd see on like Try Me? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's yeah. those. Oh, interesting. Like those little bitty flat ones. That's why Very it looks like that. And that's another thing about MAG, because this is the same type of base, DMG, but yet these are clicky. So, just a little Very interesting. interesting fact. Otis Touch. Looks pretty cool, no guts though, unfortunately. That was the, uh, that's a Houghton triangle button that was given to him from Sam. That is in, there, so we have two different types of Montgomery car tops. You can see there's two different styles. You have this one here, which was given by from Steven, and this one was from eBay. So this one has your, they both have your stop switch. But this one, instead of having safe up and down three buttons, it has a safe and a toggle switch to move up and down. So you have to hold the button and hit the switch where these two push in the button. So it's kind of neat. There's two different types of car tops there. So you can see how they, they both are, which is kind of neat. That is, I guess, some generic button. Not sure where he got that from, but it's just some generic fixture. Habitat store, system group ISIS, that again is a proximity switch. If you wanna see here. Yeah, I'll show you. So pretty much you got this huge circuit board. Which is why it's so hard to wire up. Yeah, and then so you just got this little magnet, and then that little black square in the middle is your sensor. And you got your four LEDs around. So pretty much you push it in and it just detects it, so. I'm slowly figuring out what each pins do. Uh, still got some more work to do as I'm. I'm gonna probably inspect all of Andrew's panels here to uh, get some ideas. 
that that was you know the funny thing about that panel is it did light up but then we threw it on a piece of metal on accident and it shorted out so we're gonna have to repair that one this is pretty interesting on triangle yes that's the one with the newer i've made custom um led 3d printed led holders for that thing wow uh, that's the one with my new design. The other one doesn't work as well, but that's the intermediate from the Isis. Again, you've got the proximity sensors. On both, yeah. The upper one is actually easier to wire because it's a straight in, just five volts minus. So this board will be super easy. It's just trying to get this board to do something is the annoying part. Alrighty, moving on down. down. We got an Otis, Otis series one. We did drop this. Did drop that. Yes, that goes under here. Keeps it from sliding. But obviously Otis Series 1. CJ Anderson back there, it should light up. Yep, Tom did that. Got some black button. Transporter button, that's supposed to light up, but one. again, we don't have, the, Andrew doesn't put batteries in any of this stuff. Two different types of Epco, circle line and flush line. We all know where that came from. <laughs> Elmwood Garage. That's the older Otis switch. Dover. So it's, yeah, oh yeah, yeah, Dover, whoops. Old Dover switch. It is a micro switch. It's just the older one. And you'll know what it. You know what that means if if you actually come here and visit. You'll be able to feel the difference. Yeah, you can tell. There's no actual. You, there's no click. It just presses. That's a uh, Epco Halo line. That was from Mike. Got some more uh, GAL. I think Andrew buys plates on eBay and then just switches them out. I'm not sure what he does, but Koenig button. Uh, fun fact about the Koenig button, though. Uh, if you pull down this little switch here, the back comes off. You oh, see interesting. It yeah, that's just the mounting bracket. But yeah, there's a little uh, keyhole on the top, a little spot you can push down on it. So, it's just kind of interesting. Moving on down. So, we've obviously got, that was the Alderson from the uh, Blackbird Science Building. <laughs> Something's talking today. Yeah. Got an old Otis that Tom wired up. It looks pretty awesome. That is wired up too, but no battery. R series innovation, but that's what Kona uses. That came from Jared. That's a uh, little black button dumbwaiter panel. It's really cool. That does light up too. Uh, <laughs> no batteries. Another uh, R series. That one has an analog indicator too, which is pretty neat. That was the box of building. It came from Roanoke here. Very satisfying this one, very dude. Nice it's very in yes. good condition. Yes, it is. That is, uh, <laughs> that's the car top station from the Elmwood. Oh, like, really? Is it? That's the car top station from the Elmwood. Look how crappy it is. Like, it's crappy wet. and it's small. Wet. It's literally doorbell buttons. Yes. Like, I could make something nicer than that. Man, oh, man. <laughs> so, that right there is the, uh, the CJ Anderson panel. No. The old it, GNS panel. It already pushes nice. But wait until you flip the run switch. Very neat. If you guys remember, that's an old, that's the old GNS panel. That was one that Andrew uh, made videos with a long time ago, but now it's back and working again. Uh, is that the Esco one? Yeah, so that's an Esco CJ Anderson that was given by Mike. Actually, the most recent visit we went. Pretty awesome old panel. So let us go. This is from a very famous building too, yep. right? Church, have you, does, Church. Don't you see? Oh, and there's an example. It turns all back on. So, but don't you see what I mean by in person? Like in the actual elevator, those things look so small, but then in the museum they look huge. Yes. That was donated, I believe, by Paul because he gave me one too. So nice. Paul, huge thanks for those. Those are awesome. So that's an old, uh, an old Dover. Uh, that one's missing a button, but it's an old micro switch, I believe. Or is it, is it clicky? It's micro switch. Okay. And then obviously on the floor here, another Church Avenue item. That's the indicator. Very cool. So next over here, we've got, well, that, that thing. I'm not sure. I don't remember where Andrew said that came from, but uh, we've got the governor. It's finally here in the museum. It's been just kind of all over. It's, it was definitely a trip bringing in here. Oh, yeah. This thing weighs over 100 pounds. But it's now here in the museum for all to enjoy. And back there, we've got some more panels. Let's see that. CJ Anderson. I don't remember where he got that one. He's had that one for a while. And I don't know where he got that one either. But those aren't buttons. That's an oh. analog indicator with the uh, Halo Line call button. So interesting oh. combination. 
That big panel there is from Jim. It, 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 it can be wired up. It's ready to be wired. I uh, just need to put batteries on it, but kind of neat panel. Kind of shiny. Very shiny. Let's on the top, knowledge. we've got a few various things that's Dover. Mm -hmm. Dover vandal resistant. That was given from Midwest Elevator. Kind of a really weird uh, Adam sales sample. I've never seen a, like one like that. It's really cool. It mounts on a conventional Yeah, it does. It only uses one screw. Oh, that's interesting. Yeah. CJ Anderson next to it. And we got old Otis. And yet another CJ Anderson, which Tom recently redid. And then another. You see, Tom is a huge contributor to this. Tom is general. amazing, yes. But that's just another kind of generic button. Here we have the two panels from the uh, 707 building. One of those will be going back to Andrew's house, but we got probably that one. It's, it's got much, the help link phone in there. Yes. And uh, by the way, those buttons, those phone buttons, are not as satisfying to press as you would expect. They're not, no. But you can push one if you come here. Yeah. This one actually so that, came So this panel, that's the original panel. We wanted to leave the original brails and stickers for originality reasons. That's actually how I realized that this was from the 707 building by looking at the directory when we went there yesterday because it all lined up. Yeah. Very interesting. Now that panel I restored and wired up. So you can push the floor buttons and they light up. Eventually we're going to switch those to incandescents because, well... It looks better. Yeah. It's and more the humidity is just killing those contacts. But if you turn that key and slide the little service cabinet open. The other key will operate the switch inside. But hit this fan switch. It's a, it's a three-way switch. It's very satisfying. Oh, it is. Yes. We'll go ahead and shut this up. Yep, lock it up. Kind of a neat cabinet. So that was another donation from Mike from our recent trip. He gave me a panel, which is a little incomplete. I'm gonna be restoring it. But this is the complete panel. Old Otis from the 80s. Pretty neat piece. Innovation. Nothing super exciting. The old, bur the old Burwack switch. It'd be nice to get that mounted somewhere else eventually, but for now it's just going to sit in the corner. Up here on top we've got a, uh, well obviously we got Midwest Elevator. They're awesome. And up here we've got, that was from Mike, Epco Indicator. So that's a Montgomery um, car panel. The buttons need a little bit of cleaning, which for some reason they just decide to all work. That switch turns that on, hit inspect, it'll turn the other two on. That's really cool. Yep. I love the colors. Yep. Just wanted to mix it up a bit. M series. So MT will fit in these. These are the same really? size as MT. Yep. Really? That's why, yep. You got the Otis Bell. Oh, an alarm bell, presumably. Alarm bell. And then here is just kind of various random extra buttons, spares. We've got all kinds of logos. Obviously, the diesel doocies up there. This shelf, too, this big cabinet is going to eventually be going. We're going to get a table in here eventually. And then we're going to move all this stuff around. But No, this is pretty iconic. Yep, we got the Dover panel. It's been all over the place, but it's finally here in the museum. Where would it come from? Uh, I think some hotel that you can see in the I phone box. Catch that. It. <laughs> Swipe up. Swipe it. Oh my gosh. It literally listened to everything, but if you look in there, you can see the hotel it came from. It's that little uh, orange plaque or whatever, the golden plaque. But yeah, it's been all over. Uh, you can see the difference between old switch and new switch. You can hear them. All right, now we all know exactly where this one came from. Isis, that's the Isis panel from the Habitat store. Again, all proximity buttons except for call cancel a physical switch. Pretty cool. Be cool to get that to do something, but that would take a while. That's the other uh, Westinghouse panel. We replaced that stop switch, which is very satisfying to mm -hmm. work as well. It is. It is. That is the M-Series car panel. Fun facts. So press door open and then press alarm. The alarm button fully presses in. Mm -hmm. I noticed that. Oh, you do know that? Okay. Yeah. I'll zoom in here for you. Kind of interesting. So the whole alarm presses in. And it's probably so you don't accidentally bump it. Because those buttons are just really easy to bump. And I think we know where this came from as well. If you uh, back Roanoke, up a little, Roanoke, little bit, if sorry. you know Roanoke a little bit, if you know Roanoke's parking garages, you know where that came from. Not, yeah. none of them are as tall as this garage here. No. Really cool. Well, that's another one we should all know where it came from. That came from the Elmwood. These are actually pushy buttons, but they just don't have contacts in yep. them. Yep, and you can actually see exactly where they go. This little spot right here. That's where the, that would hit the switch and that holds it in place. That's really cool. So that panel, that was given by Paul from St. Louis. That's a, a old um, enunciator from a Air Force base, believe it or not. Pretty awesome. 
Oh, it's this big one. <laughs> this humongous hissing crap panel came from some office building. It's actually what well, has water damage. Yeah, actually, this, this so this is where I pulled off the tape, and this was all open, so it's all, like, dirty. Gotta clean it. Mm -hmm. But that's the fire cabinet. We have a 513 on there. It's just kind of a fail, but it doesn't even latch either. It's not even a working latch. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, fire panel here. <clears throat> and then we've got, obviously, all the floor buttons. The alarm button's very satisfying to press as well. Oh, it is. Yeah. Phone's not. It's not. You think that's it would the, be. That's uh, the service cabinet and then the phone, which doesn't have anything in it. But that's it, where I got the... Uh, that's where we got the beeper. <laughs> like, hey, what's... It was just sitting right there. Now, here's the most iconic. Yes. Andrew wanted to take this away, but we wouldn't let him, so... Uh, but anyway, very top shelf, various lanterns, various sources, various people. You know who you are if you donated that. We got this pretty cool um, indicator, which we'd like to get working someday, and then obviously some more um, US. U.S. stuff. Fire alarms. We got a U.S. oiler, which will probably come down on the uh, shelf, uh, which we're going to bring this down. We're going to change this home. This is an oiler that was given from a Minnesota elevator. It's now going to go on the shelf of, you know, more elevator items. Uh, so that's the Schindler button. No guts. That That is a button that Kone gave him, which I don't know if you see what this is. Do you realize what this I did to this? Well, you wired it up. No. I made the entire contact block for oh, it. Oh, wow. I made my own switch and an LED holder, because this literally was the plate and the button. So I got a custom button made. All 3D printed. Yep, everything's 3D printed in here, except obviously like the hardware, but yeah. So that was a fun project video. I have a video about that actually, but it's pretty cool. Uh, old armor. Old Dover, was, I know that came from Justin, because I wired that. Dover, old Dover button. This is an old Alamo panel. I think that came from Mike. Those are Arrow Heart buttons too. It's a pretty neat panel. We got the bunny from Jacob here, the fart bunny as Andrew likes to call it. Uh, that's another Schindler. It's very satisfying to press. Transporta. I love that switch. It's I do very too. Satisfying. Very satisfying. It's such a cool set. I mean, there's certain, there's a, there are certain things in this museum that are overly satisfying than others. Just listen to that. Yep. Next, we've got the R and O panel. It's an old manual. Old dead man switch. Interesting how you need an emergency stop for a manual, but. Uh, that's the, um, another one of those Alderson. And the old Westbrook. Wasn't that from Aaron? I think so. This here is a prototype for the, uh, Hotel Roanoke, their indicator. Which is pretty cool that he has this. This was made by, a, I think, a local metal company. It looks pretty nice, but then the new ones are vertical. So that's a Here's probably the most interesting button we've got here. Yeah, an old General. Pretty neat. Just a button. Oh, and the battery came out. We can fix that. Pretty cool. Just listen to that click. Very nice. Oh, I love it. Yep. We've got a uh, stop switch. The fart treat. button going again. <laughs> yeah, fart button's been making some noise today. Old GAL. Transporter. Hey, he left the battery in that one. Old uh, control there. Old manual. That's a that's another that's general. So that's not the same general as that. That's general from Baltimore, Maryland, and those are actually general fixtures. Hmm. Otis black button, which the contacts need to be cleaned. Square U.S. and U.S. from the uh, the what? Uh, oh, my gosh. Manual Southern switch. Pretty cool. That that needs to have my new contacts. You can see they're kind of weak. Don't really work too well. I need to replace those. I, that's from Tom. It used to be wired to the wall, but I rewired it, so you push them. Pretty cool. That's an inspection. Inspection switch. Westinghouse. And Otis. And this is a French, like a little French elevator panel, which is pretty cool. Hmm. See, so we got some elevator logos right here. Yep, to some and Otis. We got a couple bells. That's hot. Let's see, where's the striker at? So I can't ring it here for you. Other way, flip it 180 degrees. Oh. Here. <laughs> Aha. And uh, more alarms and such. And we've got a southern elevator GAL plate, which is pretty awesome. The ABC it, button. We all know the ABC button. Yes. And the diesel Lucy button. Does it light up or is the battery dead? It lights up. And you can turn the switch and look, it stays lit. 
We got the new old stock GAL switch here. Pretty awesome. Got you know new alarm. You got your light switch and your emergency stop. Pretty neat piece. Fun to play with. Another very satisfying switch on the Dover, the stop switch, but that's broken, so we don't want to play with it too much. And you, if you don't know where this is, then well, I mean, welcome to the channel. You're obviously new here. Uh, so this is the Elmwood panel from the Elmwood garage in Rono. Wired up. One of the first things I wired for him. <laughs> Get to give it a nice good whacking. This is a. Um, a Montgomery elevator from Alpha Tower. That was donated by Steven. Pretty epic. That'll be wired in the future. Uh, but that came from a big mod. Pretty awesome. Old Esco. Uh, two in lobby light up. Got an R Series car panel. Schindler. Pretty neat. I love this R Series. I do too. It doesn't light up though, unfortunately. And up on the top there, so we've got some. These are some old. Very old uh, freight elevator controls here. Lanterns that came off a building in Roanoke. That was donated by uh, Mike, old Westinghouse enunciator. The reason yeah. these are up here is because they don't actually push. Yeah, if, if, if they're it's non front yeah, if they're non-functional, we put them up on the top so you can just look. This is a Dover lantern from um, Mike, and then obviously Andrew's famous butt powder. <laughs> so we got two Schindlers there. Not allowed to show the guts on those, as for copyrights, but. Uh, yeah, they're the front, they look pretty nice. Dover Impulse. I love the, just the random colors. Yeah, that's what he wanted. Pain, that's a pain call button. CJ Anderson. Anderson. We got and then we got Monitor, which those are nice, kind of satisfying to press too. Adams. Tissy Crop. And a Dover from Steven. Those are some plates, look pretty sweet. And then uh, what's this cheap thing? It's like some weird uh, generic thing. Touch sensitive. Yeah, proc yeah, I don't know. So it would not be legal in the US. No, unfortunately. Southern Elevator Company, American Elevator. Pretty neat plates. Uh, another Schindler. And we're not, we can't show the backs of the Schindlers, unfortunately, on video. Uh, that is- Keep wanting to slide down. This is what would happen if we didn't have this black stuff yeah, right here. Yeah, that came from uh, Scott in uh, Kansas. Another Chisholm Krupp. That's the demo button or the uh, safety ambassador button. That's a U.S. This is a U.S. indicator lantern. Oh, really? Is it? I That's can... from uh, Mike, and Very I have an idea for that. Very interesting. That was a recent. That's a recent piece. That's a Murphy elevator panel, I think, from. Um, I don't remember what it is. I think Alex. What was his name? Yes, yeah, so he just got that in the mail. Yeah. That we have. Uh, that's a C.J. Anderson panel. Looks pretty sweet. And then again on the side, you got some more Schindlers, which I think you show already. But that's in Montgomery, MXC. I love those buttons. Yeah, those are the same. Those are the same buttons as the uh, those up there huh. on the other parts. Same ones as those over there. Interesting. Next shelf down, we've got cheap ripoff Series Five like, and we've got normal Series Five. <laughs> is it this a look like? Huh? What did you say this was? Just some cheap generic crap. Wow. Otis, and that little thing on the side is just some vintage old Oh, I button. forgot about that one. Yeah, it's pretty neat. Obviously, we got the Monarch panel that came from the uh, Habitat store in Roanoke. I love that switch. Yeah, it's very nice. Another uh, VR uh, Westinghouse. Echo SSL. That's wired up. That's a big old pain button. Pretty awesome. And we got two more pain buttons on the right. And we got Otis Series 1 Lantern there, and some indicators. And we got more car panels on the bottom. <laughs> Fart Bunny gets going. That was donated by Manual. Very interesting. And it got damaged in shipping, so we're going to try to fix it. I'll actually go, I'll radiate back over here so I don't forget about it. Yep, that's another Baxter and Sons BNS panel. Car panel. Baxter and Sons. Yep, came from Texas. That is a little car top for Schindler. Oh, I love this one. Those switches are very nice. Got a, that's the uh, car panel from that freight elevator in St. Joseph. Needs to be restored. Could be done very easily. Black button panel. I think that goes from Nick. Pretty epic. And some more plates on the bottom. On the right, we've got a pretty sweet looking indicator from Macy's. 
but that would be cool to get going someday, make it move up and down. And then we've got our series COP, which does light up once we get a battery in it. And then a Schlieren COP, a whole COP of your favorite buttons. Oh my gosh, I love it. I love it. And some fire extinguishers. Yep, and that pretty much includes the tour. If you, I don't know if you got that at the beginning. That's just the, um, yeah, replaced buttons, unfortunately. It's like an old touch that was replaced buttons, but it is what it is. Alrighty, guys. But that's the tour. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Uh, now, what's the best way if you want to come see this place, see this wonderful museum? Well, we're currently working away on the, the website, so you can easily get in contact. And uh, but for now, we gotta contact Andrew online. But we'll put the link in the description when we're ready for that website. Because we're very excited for you guys to come see. We want this. you guys to make it. We want to make it easy for you to come here and work out a time. Because obviously, with Andrew's work schedule and with no one here to show it but him, times have to be pretty flexible. But please, just do not come. Don't just talk. show up. Don't show up. If you show up, then you won't get to see it. Yeah. You won't be allowed. Um, but anyway, hope you enjoyed the tour. It's pretty epic. We're pretty proud yes, of it. Yes, it was. Yes, Today, yes. what we would like to do is get this out and get a table in, but it's not really going to change the exhibit all that much. It's just going to be a table with yeah. all this. This this jank, The janky cart is going to leave. Yes. So. Well, thank you, Jason, for being the awesome tour guide. And thank you for the help. And Aaron, awesome. of course. Alrighty, guys. One last look. And what do you have to say? That will be it.